I'm sure you've heard of a bird's eye view. Well, I'm going to give you something a little different, a dog's eye view, and the dog is Dougal, our beagle corgi mix. If it weren't for Dougal, I wouldn't get my 10,000 steps every day, and I would miss all the great historical and architectural sites in Pentwater. This is Dougal resting up to make sure he can get in a long walk once we reach 268 Park Street and unpack. Yes, he's being a little spoiled in this picture by Mark, but usually he's sleeping in the back seat on his quilt. I don't know why, but it seems he always has to stop at the rest area just as we cross into Oceana County. I guess we all have our habits. This is how Dougal arrives to Pentwater, Michigan with his head out the window, his ears flapping back, and waiting for his first walk. Dougal waits on the front porch of 268 Park Street, usually somewhat impatiently, barking occasionally, just in case we might have forgotten about him. The porch is also a great place to work from in the summer months. And we're off, and as you can see, Dougal is leading the way. One of the places Dougal is unleashed is at the Pentwater Cemetery. I like the historical aspects of the cemetery. Dougal likes chasing the squirrels. Dougal also enjoys the historical museum. He considers himself a host, welcoming visitors with a wag of his tail, but he leaves the history lessons to me. Another favorite place of Dougal's is Muir State Park. He's fond of winter and spring and fall because he can be unleashed and enjoy the beach. Old Baldy is a large sand dune that he loves running up and down inside Muir State Park. Here, he's off the stairs and on the old trail going up to Old Baldy. When he's reached the top, he's willing to rest and pose for a picture. I think we get a picture here at least once a year. Here is Pentwater Park or on the green. In the winter, Santa comes to Pentwater in a fire engine and then greets the kids in the gazebo. In the spring, there is a big Easter egg hunt. And in the summer, there are band concerts every Thursday and movies on the green once a month. This is the original Pentwater Information Center. It is now just used as a historical site and a good picture opportunity. This is looking down Main Street in Pentwater. It's quiet today because this picture was taken on Christmas Day 2021, cold but sunny. Painter's Frog Art Studio is a fairly new shop in Pentwater but a great place to visit and kids love to put together art kits to make in the shop or take home. Dougal would be sitting in a bed of marigolds if it was summer. So Dougal is at a crossroads. He's trying to decide where he wants to go next. There are so many great little shops down the street. My personal favorite is Storybook Village. This was just a perfect picture opportunity. It's an entrance to one of the condos on Hancock Street, which is Main Street in Pentwater. So yes, Pentwater got about six inches of snow. But that doesn't stop Dougal from taking his walks. This is walking down by the canal that is between Pentwater Lake and Lake Michigan. If it were the 1800s, this would be full of logs from the lumber industry. The lake doesn't look like this yet, but there are cool ice formations that form out on Lake Michigan. The colder it is and the more snow we get, and Dougal likes walking on frozen water. At the end of his walks, Dougal likes to climb into a comfy chair and take a nap. I hope you enjoy Dougal's view of Pentwater. If you like our content, please hit like. If you would like to see more, please subscribe. And if you'd like to be notified when we load a video, hit the bell. Like a lot of us, I'm pretty sure Dougal's dreaming about spring these days. So this brings this video to an end and I hope to see you in our next video.